Hey guys, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel. People plagued by demons, the leader of satanic cult who might have gotten too close to the Dark Lord and the most televised exorcism of all time, all of this in our today's list. We'll be discussing the top 10 true scary stories of demonic possessions of all time. Demonic possessions have been occurring since time immemorial and today we have true scary stories of possessions that will shake you to the core as demons are not to be taken lightly. You will experience the terror, the helplessness, the loss of control, and the torment felt by those who have fallen prey to the dark powers in this world, the demon possessed. The symptoms of demonic possessions manifest themselves in many ways. Convulsions, bite marks appearing from nothing, and levitation are all common. The victims frequently inherit clairvoyant abilities too, seeing directly into another person's soul to uncover their deepest, darkest secrets. Perhaps more incredibly of all, though, the possessed may begin speaking in a language they've never previously been exposed to, there are symptoms almost impossible to explain or dismiss. So, ready to scare yourself senseless? Let's come to our list now. Coming in at number 10, we have Anna Eklund. She was born in Wisconsin, USA in 1882. As per sources, she started showing signs of possession at the age of 14. Her aunt and her father would secretly practice witchcraft and then would add poison to her food and continuously curse her. It is also said that she began to feel that religion and religious objects were worthless. She was then cured by an exorcist later. Number 9. We have Annalise Michelle, one of the most famous cases of exorcism in the 1970s. She was born in 1952 in West Germany and got possessed at a very young age. She also had a history of mental illness and epilepsy, but in the year 1973, things got even worse. She would do very odd things like ripping her clothes publicly, eating spiders and barking like a dog. She would get aggressive and then depressed at times and would hear mysterious voices and have evil visions. Coming in at number 8, we have Clara German Select. She was an orphan in natal South Africa and was born in 1906. As per sources, she started acting weird and speaking different languages. Later, she became a fortune teller, claiming to know a lot about people she never had met. People also claim that they have heard her uttering in a male voice, sounding like a Satan orchestrating wild beast. She then admitted to having made a pact with the devil after submitting her body to him. The exorcism later took place for two days straight by two priests, which turned out to be successful and the demons wore out. At number 7, we have Gina. Let's head back to the 90s for a possession story that was televised. Gina, a girl who's clearly showing signs of psychosis, but her parents were convinced that she was possessed by a demon, so they had an exorcism performed on her that was shown live and 29 million people watched it. She claimed that two demons, Zion and Minga, were inside her body. After the exorcism, she was thankfully rehospitalized so she could receive proper help. Standing at number 6, we have George Lurkins, an English tailor. If you shoot back to the 1700s, you better believe that there's going to be a fair share of demon possession stories. George was just a regular guy and out of nowhere, he started to get sick and act very strange. He started to grow like an animal and walk on all fours. This was obviously concerning to the people who knew him and knew he wasn't that strange of a fellow. So he was taken to a church where they perform a massive exorcism on him. Apparently, seven different demons were pulled out of his body and he was back to being just a normal dude. At number 5, we have a scary story which could be a nightmare for any mother. Latoya Ammons, a mother of three from Indiana, believed her children were possessed by dark entities and she started noticing weird signs. For example, her 12-year-old floating above her bed and a nurse had seen her 9-year-old walking backwards up a wall. Her kids were even taken away from her in the suspicion of child abuse. There were many reports regarding her kids, speaking in different voices and giving evil smiles which led her to try many exorcisms. Later they moved on and all paranormal activities got over. Coming in at number 4, we have Pat Weeding from Litchfield, Connecticut in the 1980s. She didn't have any history of mental illness and wasn't involved in any cults. She started hearing scary noises and felt dark entities haunting her. She would have bite marks and hair strangling. 
Then she went through 16 exorcisms and they all seemed to fail. Suffering her whole life, she was first possessed and died of cancer later. Before we tackle our top 3, make sure to hit that like button. Now, number 3. Roland Doe Possessed by Demons was a true story that inspired a movie, The Exorcist. Everything started when he tried to contact his aunt with Ouija board. She was the one who taught him how to use it. He started hearing weird sounds like dripping water and bangs in the wall. He also started levitating and speaking in different languages. As per source, he went through 30 exorcism and finally was freed from the demons and moved to Missouri. Maria, a nun, is at number 2. She talked about how she would constantly get messages from demons, trying to persuade her, but she was a lady of faith and would push these thoughts and voices down until she was 31 and found dead. It seemed that she killed herself, but what made this cause so famous was a note beside her, later called Satan's Engram. It took years to decode, but once it was, it seemed that the message was sent from the devil himself and spoke of his detach for foolish humans and how they thought they could use God to escape his prison and other devil stuff. Michael Taylor from Great Britain is at our top one. He was part of a church group and married to Christine. Over the course of time, he started to become more and more hateful toward his wife and the other people at the church. His wife then accused him of having an affair. After that, he started showing signs of demonic possession. He then went for the exorcism and Michael then went home to rest. But he still had one demon left within him. When he arrived home, he ripped his wife's eyes off, murdered her, and was found outside of his house naked, drenched in blood. So, let me ask you now, do you believe in demons? This list is guaranteed to befuddle the skeptics and confirm to believers that demons are not to be messed with. Whichever side of the fence you sit, one thing is for sure, this collection of true stories of demonic possessions is guaranteed to be a hair-raising experience. Which story do you find the scariest of all? Which story chilled your spine? Do share your thoughts with us in the comments below. So, that is what we have for you today guys. See you in the next video with some more of top 10s. Don't forget to like and share this video. Do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications as well. You can also check us out in our social media platforms in the description. Bye for now!